So you just bought the brand new M2 Mac Mini, or any Mac for that matter, and you want to get some external storage. I think right now in history, it's the cheapest time you can find external storage, and I'm going to show you 12 or 13 different examples of what I found. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna set this up because I don't wanna waste anyone's time if they don't wanna watch this, because it's gonna be a very simple video. I don't usually do tons of videos like this, but I went to Micro Center the other day and I was looking at a drives and I picked this one up over here, which I'll get into, but I was shocked to see what the costs are. Everything is so cheap now in external storage, whether it's just a, a normal two and a half inch SSD drive or an M.2 or M drive like this one, they're just dirt cheap. And I went into Amazon and I found like 12 or 13 examples, both, both two and a half and then the M.2s, that are like 50% off or 20, 30% off. They're just super cheap right now. You'll be shocked getting one terabyte, two terabytes, four terabytes. It's really cheap right now. So I just wanna show you, I'm just gonna share my screen in a second and show you all these different things I found on Amazon. And then I'm gonna have the links in the description. Buy them any way you want. It does help the channel if you buy them through me, but I'm not trying to sell them. I'm just showing you what's available out there. You make your own decision. So I went to Micro Center here, and this is the first one. So this is the drive I bought. It's basically the Inland. You guys always know I like Inlands. It's the QN322. Now there's some problems with this drive, of course, but for, for the cost, you can't beat it. 500 gigabytes, right? It lists at about 60 bucks. I wouldn't buy it for that. They had it on sale for 25, 24.99. 24.99 for a 500 gig NVMe M.2 drive. Can you imagine that? Now it's only 2100 megabytes per second on the reads, only 1000 on the right. So it's more of like an external, just adding some data, but still fast enough for most people, right? So that's just how I got started on this video. I mean, Micro Center was selling this. So then I went ahead and I went to, and, and again, I, I can show you here on my screen here, they actually have it on Amazon right now, but it's 29 bucks. Ooh, four more dollars, but it's still cheap, right? All right, so let's just go down some of the finds I found. First, I'm gonna do two and a half drives, and I'm gonna show you the cool M.2 uh, NVMe inside of drives that are dirt cheap. So the very first one, let's just look what this pricing's gone to. The first one's gonna be, by A data, 240 gigs. What do you think that costs? $17.99, look at this, $17.99 for 240 gigs, getting cheaper every single time. This is this is only 5% off, that's nothing, right? Let's keep going though. Uh, Kingston's a pretty good name, you know, give or take. This is gonna be a 480 gigabyte, again, SATA two and a half inch drive, 408, 25, 26 bucks roughly for almost 500 gigs, think about that. I mean, how, how cheap are things getting? All right, for the next one, let's say you want a terabyte here. And the terabyte, let's say you don't care too much about like if it's Samsung or one of the higher you know, quality names. Here's one basically by Silicon Power, I believe it's called, SP. One terabyte drive, it's 46, look at this, 46.99 for a terabyte now. Again, this is only a two and a half drive. It's not gonna be the fastest. It's gonna be somewhere in the 500 megabytes per second. And it's not maybe a super high end, you know, as far as names, but it's got, let's see here, a 4.7 out of five of 5,000 people bought this thing. So, so far, so good. Let's keep going though. Crucial, this is gonna be a one terabyte. You want a little bit better name? $52.99. This one's 41% off. 41% off right now. Think about that. That's just in the last couple weeks. Let's keep going. Western Digital Blue. This is another one terabyte. This is probably the best name you can get. It's at 40% off, $59.99. So that's not a bad price if you want to get a Western Digital Blue, and then you also want to get the one terabyte. As we keep going here, two terabytes Western Digital Blue. How much do you think this one is? $119 only. So again, this is 25% off, but I mean, realistically, these things were about 200 bucks not too long ago, and now they're going for $119, which is amazing. So I know I'm gonna get through these like SATA drives because I know a lot of people don't buy these any longer. So the next one here is gonna be the Evo, the, the 870 Evo two terabyte drive, right? Samsung, quality, high quality. How much is this one? $149.99, so it's getting a little bit more expensive, but it's still 42% off of what it was a couple weeks ago or about a month or two ago. So $149.99 for a solid two terabytes if you wanna add that storage. And then finally, let's go to the last one here. This is gonna be a four terabyte drive. This is by Crucial. Take a look at this, 33% off, it's 239 bucks. 239 bucks basically for four terabytes of SSD space. Again, this isn't the fastest, so I don't know if a lot of people want this or not, but I just wanted to show you kind of the two and a halfs first. And then we're gonna get into the, the M.2, which is my favorite. All right, so here's the part I'm more interested in. So we're gonna go through the M.2 drives. And the first one's gonna just be like a normal SATA drive. So obviously SATA drives are just M.2s. They're not that fast. They're not NVMe drives. NVMe drives can be the crazy numbers. The SATA drives that are, this is not a SATA drive, but the SATA drives that look like this basically can only go up to like the 500. So the very first one you can see here though, is still pretty impressive. It's an M.2. It's a silicon power, 512 gigabytes. It's $23.99, $23.99, but that's only SATA. So you can take a look at it right here. 
not bad, but um, it's, again, it's not gonna be the fastest. The next one here is gonna be SATA again, and this is 256 gigabytes, so a little bit smaller, $17.99 for an M.2 drive. That's crazy, right? So that's not bad, right? But we don't want SATA, let's keep going. So here we go, Kingston. Here's the first one that's more interesting. 3,500 megabytes per second NVMe drive. It's basically 500 gigs, $29.99. This is 21% off right now. Less than 30 bucks, 500 gigs. What is that? Like 3,500 megabytes per second. What are we talking here? Something's, something's fishy, right? I don't know what's going on. Next one, Western Digital Black. So it's a great name, great, great drive here. This is the SN770. 39, $39.99 for 500 gig bucks. So that's a great gaming one for speed and stuff like that. Um, up to 4,000 megabytes per second and it's less than 40 bucks for 500. That's a little bit more reasonable even though it says it's 50% off of what it used to be. All right, let's keep going here. Western Digital Blue, one terabyte. So one terabyte NVMe drive. How much is this gonna cost? If you look over here, it's gonna basically be, let me just see here, it's 3,500 megabytes per second, 57.99 now for a terabyte M dot, or NVMe drive that's a terabyte in size, it's crazy. That used to, it's 47% off. It was 109 bucks not too long ago, in fact, just a couple weeks ago. Now it's 57.99. Um, let's keep going, it gets even crazier. This one's more expensive. This is a terabyte, but this is known for its performance. These are the Sabrians, and this is the Rocket NVMe. So people might know this in the gaming, you know, if they do a lot of gaming and stuff like that, or if they just have the fast external storage for other reasons. This one's more expensive, more reasonable, 89 bucks, but it's still 53% off of what it used to be. Just wanted to throw that in there. Now, if you want to go really cheap, I had done a lot of reviews. Check out my channel, but I did some reviews on 11 drives. They're from, I believe, Taiwan. They're quality drives. I mean, they're basically made... They're not made in China, they're made in Taiwan, and they're basically gonna be just kind of an inexpensive way to get a lot of storage, right? Look at this one, this one's called the Lars, or L-A-R-E-S. This is the J JPS 6 600, two terabytes, mind you, 89 bucks for two terabytes. 89 bucks for two terabyte drive, not one terabyte, Two. This is 14% off only, but it's actually a lot more than that. It kept kind of stepping down in different, you know, iterations, but now it's down to 89 bucks. All right, the next one, Western Digital Blue, two terabytes. So you want a better name here? You don't want to go with 11? Here it is, 119 only. This was basically double the cost not too long ago, right? Western Digital Blue SN570, that's a steal as well. All right, so the next one's going to be kind of the, the best of the best, right? This is the 980 Pro, it's the basically by Samsung. And this is gonna be a super fast drive. It's gonna be, you know, within reason. I think it's up to 7,000 megabytes per second. 7,000, this is the Pro version. How much is it now? It says it's 50% off, 189 bucks right now. It used to be obviously 379, now it's 189 bucks. Two terabytes, up to 7,000 megabytes per second. I mean, think about that for a second, right? But we, we let's just keep going, because it gets a little crazier. So now we got a Crucial here. It's called the P3, it's a four terabyte drive, right? Four terabytes, PCIe Gen 3, 249 bucks now for four terabytes NVMe drive. Uh, and let's just look down here, up to 3,500 megabytes per second in six, 650,000 uh, IOPS or operations per second. So very fast drive, four terabytes, 249. I mean, if you went to Apple, what would that cost? Thousands and thousands of dollars. And then finally, I got, I think, one more here, the last one. Actually, I don't have any more. I think that was the last one. So long story short is I'm just showing you these are all, I mean, that last one was 30, 40% off. These are all like these huge percentage off. And I'm trying to figure out what's going on in the industry right now. Why are these things so cheap? And what's going on with like all these type of drives? This drive in particular, 25 bucks at Micro Center. It has its problems. I don't think it has any DRAM or something. I mean, it's basically going to just be for raw, like a little storage here and there. But it is 2,100 megabytes per second um, on the reads and only 1,000 on the writes. But still, 25 bucks is as much as like, you know, you'd get for a 120 drive not too long ago. And now we're at 500 NVMe drives. So you tell me. Put in the comments what you think's going on. Is it going to stay like this? And if you watch this later on and you can't get these costs, maybe they went back up. These are the costs you wait till. You, want, you know they've dropped that low now. So wait until they drop down there again. That's my, that's my kind of comment there. And, uh, and then at the end of the day, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is this useful or not? I just wanted to open people's eyes because I missed it. I didn't see it. And I wanted you guys to see some of this stuff just so you don't miss the good deals that are out there right now. So we'll talk to you soon. Everyone have a great week. I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Peace.